Real quick overview on the Titan blind since they're fairly new to the market and I get a ton of questions so hopefully that answers that. Uh, construction process, full roto molded, that means this outer shell is continuous, top, bottom, sides, one solid piece, no seams at the roof, no seams at the corners, complete solid piece. Um, obviously the door is punched in and the windows are punched in. The windows, heavy duty, sealed in here. There's a heavy duty gasket all the way around, uh, protective coating for the plexiglass just for shipping purposes. The blind itself, the bare blind, weighs 450 pounds. Very stout blind. This is not chintzy plastic or anything like that by any means. Super solid on the outside. One of the main questions I get about these blinds are how well are they sealed, both in terms of bugs and water um, at the windows and stuff. So we're going to do a quick demonstration with a garden hose and see what we got. We're going to simulate wind driven rain here. Let's get some real pressure going. Get the seals, windows, the bow windows over here. There's literally no seams up there for water to get in, but we'll give these a good soaking under some decent pressure here. Let's go see what we got. Bone dry. This is the other way they come with a steel base that comes pre-installed from the factory to accept 4x4s. That is the method that I use on my own personal farms. Um, quick and easy to put up. You can put those up, cross brace, put a ladder on um, with a couple guys in 45 minutes to an hour. This is the third way they come with a steel tower. Steel tower includes anchors at each leg and then middle auger and cable system, uh, ladder system, again with the same blind. Now going inside the Titan, there's a triple latch system. Again, tinted plexiglass and then one of the main features that I really like is what's called friction hinges so what that means is there's no latches up here to catch the window there's no strings like a redneck you simply open the window and wherever you put it it stays pretty nice feature Perfectly silent. This is the door seal system, fully gasketed all the way around. So when you get in, that is a completely airtight seal. Compartment in the bottom, and then you've got tool chest there, a um, couple there accessories, water hunting, etc. There's a vent there, an event there. Buddy came up with a good idea. You can span a two by four across the top and then you can screw hooks for your backpack, bow or whatever. Um, or you could simply construct an adhesive, some two by fours to the roof there without penetrating anything and screw your hooks into that. My personal opinion on pros and cons compared to some other blinds, pro for sure is solid construction. No seams anywhere in the corner, in the tops, in the bottom. Um, tinted plexiglass. I prefer tempered glass like in a redneck. So I think that would be a con, um, personal preference. Um, there is no insulation. 
Again, personal preference, I don't think that that matters that much. I would prefer that there was some sort of cover for these vents. You can certainly fabricate something very easily, um, specifically for bow hunting in the winter when it's cold and you're running a heater, you probably want those vents running. Um, the floor system is two by four construction just to level this out as the bottom is corrugated for structural stability in the blind. So this wood is not exposed whatsoever to the elements, simply just to keep the floor level. That's my quick review on the Titan blinds.